All right, Adidas has to cool it with all these drops. I can't keep up. That being said, Adidas dropped a whole bunch of silhouettes under its EQT lineup. Some have boost, others don't, some are high top and some are low top. Well, today we've got the Adidas EQT Support ADV for review. There's no boost in these and they're more of a lifestyle shoe. If you want to pick these up, Finish Line has them in two colorways right now. The black and turbo red colorway is what really set these shoes apart. But if you're a fan of just the silhouette and not so much a color combination, you can get them in triple black. As always, my link is in the description below if you want to get a pair. Finish Line has them for one ton with free shipping. Well, the EQT Support ADV is a shoe that's more about style and not so much performance. You get a pretty bare bones rubber outsole. It's stiffer and not as springy as Boost, obviously, but it is extremely stylized and gives the shoe a lot of character. The one thing I do wish they did better was painting the Adidas 3 Sipe logo on either side of the shoe. Up close, it looks a little messy, but you won't notice the imperfection at all from afar. It's just a pet peeve of mine. But the upper of the shoe is where all the fun is. The majority of the shoe is made of Adidas DigiCamel Flatnet. It's soft, flexible, breathable, and very comfortable. But it's different from what you would find on the Ultra Boost or NMD. It's completely smooth compared to the raised and textured pattern on the Ultra Boost, and it's not as thin or as elastic as the Prime Knit on the NMD. The knit on the EQT is that sweet spot right between the Ultra Boost and NMD. But since the EQT upper is made of knit material, your feet will get cold when it's windy or cold outside. I learned that the hard way while walking around Times Square in 29 degree weather. Also, there are some synthetic Nubuck toe overlays on the shoe which help with the construction of the shoe and keep your feet in place while you walk. Alright, let's talk about the back of the shoe. As you can see, obviously, it's pink. Or as Adidas calls it, Turbo Red. Whether you call it pink, Turbo Red, or Salmon, one thing is true. It looks really good in person. The really cool thing about the Turbo Red panel is that it's reflective, which means two things. A, you'll be visible at night while you're walking so you won't get run over by a car unless he was aiming for you. Or B, these shoes are going to look really fresh in social media pictures. There's also a really large soft TPU support piece that wraps all around the heel. It's a little transparent as well so you can still make out the colors underneath. There are also plastic lace loops which are attached to nylon straps on the shoe which act as the cage. Unlike the Ultra Boost which have a solid TPU cage and doesn't really do much when you tighten the laces, the EQT really allows the user to customize the fit much more than the Ultra Boost, NMD, or even Pure Boost. One thing I do want to point out about these shoes is that they have some really long laces. The one gripe I have with these shoes is the fabric they use that connects the tongue and the heel. The fabric doesn't stretch that much and makes putting your feet in a little hard. It's also just as hard to take off your shoes because of it. I have noticed it started to break in after a few wears, but a little bit of give in that area would really be appreciative. When it comes to fit, these shoes are a little big. Usually, with most other shoes, my true size is a 10. But when I tried the EQT Support ADV, the 10s were way too big lengthwise. So I decided to go with the size 9.5. So if you decide to pick these shoes up online, go a half size down. Overall, the Adidas EQT Support ADV is a really unique looking shoe. You have a really clean silhouette, a stylized midsole, super comfortable flat knit upper, and a turbo red reflective rear panel that just begs for attention. Although the lack of boost means they're not as comfortable, the EQT Support do have ortholite performance insoles that do help. For $110, you are getting a really cool looking shoe that look like they could be worth more. Hey, if you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you could, please high five the like button, it helps the channel grow. If you like videos like this, subscribe. There are more product reviews and fitness advice videos coming. For more, check out jimcaddy.net, and I'll catch you next time.